they go do with me now? I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm poking them down. We turn the spots in the frown. You can't hop out, then we clear on the crown. What's going on, y'all? It's Lauren K. We here at Talk of the Town. And who is here today? Do I really got to see? <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> Kenzo, me. Period, period, period. You know, you didn't say it like the, the song. I was expecting you to say it. Kenzo, B. That's how the song sounds to me. Kenzo, Ooh. B. Ooh. We love <laughs> that. We love it. We love it. Period. <laughs> so let's start from the very, very beginning, because I know you don't do a lot of interviews. Period. So let's start from how do we get into music? How do we start rapping? How do we get into music? Right. Like the beginning, beginning, or like the drill rap beginning? Walk us through the journey. Walk us up to Bump It. How do we get to Bump It? How do we get to Bump It? Okay, right. I was doing music when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Long story short, I'm not even going to speak too much on it because I always say this. But I've been doing music since I was like probably like seven, eight years old. And basically, I never cared for music at that age. I didn't care. I just knew I could do it. Mm -hmm. And so... I just stopped doing it, but, like, I stopped doing it publicly. Like, I still used to write and stuff to myself. So mm -hmm. then Bump It, I wrote Bump It in, like, November 2021. Okay. And after I wrote it, it was so fire to me. I was just like, nah, I'm about to spit this to people. Like, so then, boom, spit it to my manager. I spit it to the thing. I spit it to Bando. I spit it to my mom. Like, everybody I spit it to, like, mm -hmm. was just jacking it. So then I was like, okay, I'm going to go record it. I went and recorded it, and then I didn't even post it right when I recorded it. I don't think I posted, like, the trailer to bump it. No, at first I posted a freestyle, like, okay, like just rapping it in front of a camera. Mm -hmm. it, it didn't even get that much. Like, it got views. Like, for what I had, I had, like, a 1,000 followers back, that, back mm -hmm. then. So for what I had, it, it was, like, a lot of views to me. Okay. But, like, now that I look at it, it didn't go nowhere for real. Mm -hmm. But then when I posted the trailer, like, a month later, shit went, went crazy. Up. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, I think that it's such like a rapper, rapper thing for you to be able to walk into a room and spit. You did that early. I was like, wow, like I think that's real rapper shit that you just <laughs> be rapping at niggas. Like that's like period. No, lately I've been like I've been making music that has like so much like real life relatable mm -hmm. shit. Like that you could just be in a conversation and you just think of one of my bars and be like, yeah, this relates to our conversation. Period. I just say it. Period. I love that. So while we're talking about Bump It, I want to ask you, did you re-record Bump It for the facts, or did you just take the, the vocals and put it on another? I literally just took the vocals and put it on another beat. Okay. I really wondered that for a mad long. Like, you, you, I feel like you can hear it. You know, I think it sounds different, which is so odd. Like It, it sounds, sounds like a completely different song, right? Not completely different songs. Yeah. Yeah, but also, like, the production sounds better on uh, on the facts than Bump It. Really? I think so. Like, it sounds like it sounds like you went in there and spit it on the facts. What? Yo, that's crazy. But honestly, I think it's because I'm pretty sure I posted, like, a rough draft version of Bump It. Mm, okay, so, okay. Like, when I first posted it. Mm -hmm. But I hate the fact. I hate. I don't like how it sounds. Really? I, I most of the time I listen so to, to it's not that I hate it, it's that I'm so used to the bump, bump it. it. Okay, okay. Beat. Like that's just I'm just already like yeah. bonding with that one. So it's like I be listening to it and it sounds so different. I'll be like, nah. And then I wrote really? it so I know I didn't I didn't I would have like I like the beat for the facts. Mm -hmm. And I'd be thinking like I would have wrote something totally different to this beat. So So what made you decide like I'ma just move it from bump it to the facts? Um, as that opposed was like to rewriting. A Okay. That was a label thing. Because Bump It is like a big sample. Mm -hmm. I don't even know which sample it is. It's uh, a big sample. Bombs Over Baghdad. Okay, so that's a big sample mm -hmm. that it was like. Tough. We got to just yeah switch it. Well, it, it just made more sense to switch it. It wasn't worth, like, you feel me? By the time I signed, I was already at a million. Exactly. Like, it was going crazy was like. It was not really gonna like worth doing all that. Yeah, yeah. Or, honestly. So the facts is one of your collabs. You got a lot of collabs, and you said that you don't like doing features, though. I don't. So okay, let's start. Why don't you like doing features? Let's start there. It's not that I don't like doing features. I just feel like I'm not easily impressed with people. Okay. So I just I do features with people I feel like is good. 
That was my next question. Like, how do you pick, okay, I'm jacking this song or I'm not right. jacking this song? So just pick, like, once I hear a song, mm-hmm. if I feel like I wish I wrote that song, I want to do a song with you. Period. Mm, I like that. Like, I really, I be feeling like that. Like, when I hear somebody's song, I be like, yo, I wish I was recording this video. Like, I wish I was the person rapping this in a video shoot. Like, once yeah. I have that feeling, that's when I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm doing a song with that person. Okay, so what is your writing process like? Is it different for features than it is your own songs? Yes. Okay, how so? For features, I feel like I feel like I'm like a little bit of a show off with features. Okay. Like for some reason, I could be writing a song, right? And it'll take me a week to to write it. Right. And then if somebody if if I get in the stool with somebody, I I'm finishing that shit or I'm writing verses like I don't mm-hmm. know, like it's just like I, I guess I are you more, competitive? I take it more serious. Not not even in a competitive way, like trying to get a better verse. Just like if I I just know I have to have a. I'm not talking about how good or bad it is. Like mm-hmm. I'm just saying I know I have to do a verse. Like okay, you said like my writing process. I will right. take days writing, and then if I go in the studio with somebody like with a feature, I'm gonna write that shit right there. Right like, there, yeah, yeah. Whether it comes out <laughs> like fire or not, like for some reason, but I don't think I I don't be writing bad verses, I feel like. So it's like, I don't think so either. So, yeah. So, so like, I just write. And I just happen to, like, my brain just happens to flow more when I'm writing with people. Better? Okay. Yeah. You said your, but it flows like better my, with Yeah, people. like, my, thought, my thoughts just flow more when I'm with people in the studio. Okay. Like, other rappers right. type shit. So, I asked you if it was competitive because I have a question here that... So, okay, do you aim to have, well, obviously you aim to have the best verse, but is it ever? I don't, though. No. I don't. So you don't even be thinking about what other niggas is doing on the song? I don't. I hmm. honestly, I honestly, that's what I'm saying. That's a, that's another thing about, like, who I pick my features with. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I don't like doing songs with people I feel like can't keep up with me. Okay. So if I, more than likely, if I'm doing a song with you, I know or I feel in my heart that I don't, like, I'm not into trying to do a song with somebody because I no, I'm gonna show better. them up. Like, right. I don't care about that. Right. So even if even if I'm doing a song like, I only do that on a feature if with somebody I probably don't know. Like I'll be like, yeah, I'm about to walk on them, but right. I don't be thinking like that with people I know and shit, like or people that I like. I don't want to be paid features over. I'll be like, yeah, it's over. Right. Because I don't care what they talking about. Mm-hmm. But the shit that like I'm really wanting to do, mm-hmm. I don't. I, I don't do that. Now by yourself. Well, are you a writer? Like, do you really yeah, be writing? Right. All of my music. I write okay. all of my music. I I have not, not. I don't think nobody even ever gave me a bar. Matter of fact, I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying. But I don't even think so either. Look, shout out Devin. Devin, no, look. Devin could tell you. If I'm lying, tell them, Devin. But I think Devin has helped me. Devin helps me in the studio mm-hmm. with my thought process. Like, okay. She helps me make bars, but I don't think I've ever, I've ever like, gotten a bar, a bar from anybody. Like, period, period. So, are you? Do you write it down, or are you more of a freestyler? No, I write it down. Write it down. Well, now, I, I, I guess the the bar has to come to my head before I write it down. Like, but that's not really freestyling. Like, I know yeah, some niggas really getting a booth I'm not really. Say, like, I just listen to the beat, mm-hmm. and then I just think of lines. I think about think about it line by line. Are you a Nicki fan? I don't want to answer that. <laughs> oh, does that mean we're not going to like the answer? <laughs> That's actually, okay. That could okay. go both ways, so that was a good way to say that. I don't want to answer that. Okay, now. I'm going to tell you off camera. Okay, period. Because <laughs> I definitely want to know. But the reason that I wanted to ask Do you that. um, Yes, actually. She's very much like, none of these niggas never gave me no bars because I sound better than all of these niggas. Mm-hmm. And she's like, a, I wrote all my shit. Yeah. So you definitely remind me of her in that. And also, yeah. you just sound, when you get on a song, you sound like, I'm about to tear y'all up. Like, I'm rapping for real. Yeah. Like, you're using words. Like, can, like yeah. yeah, like, it's vocabulary. Like, and, and she's one of those. But also, you posted a, a story, and you had one of her old songs in the background. And I was just like, what story? What story? One of them was baddest bitch. I don't know if it was just I the didn't, beat. No, I did. The, I did a freestyle to that beat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I feel like that's a real fan song. Like that's a real like bitches don't be knowing that for yeah, real. Don't and it was another one that I can't think of 
what it was. I feel like it was on Beat Me Up, Scotty, but I might be bugging. Um, 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 you talking about, dear God, I am. Yes, 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 yes. But not, I fuck with, I fuck with her music. Okay. I don't. Got it. Got it. <laughs> let's, let's not get you in trouble with the bobs. I'm one. I don't want to be disappointed right now. No, for real. So, who do you look up to, if anybody, as far as your lyrics go? Or music, rap? I always try to prepare myself for this. I can't think. Well, every time I'm asked this question, I can't think of nobody, like. So you, you don't, know, like, like study actually, nobody? I that, like, in a deeper, a deeper way. Okay, so one of the, damn, we jumping all over the place here. Okay, so I feel your music, you're really good with punchlines. I think that your punchlines are, they hit every time. Like, my personal favorite is that bitch got a cemetery in her box. Mm -hmm. That one did it for me. <laughs> so, I feel that <laughs> when people, like, it's intentional. You know what I'm saying? So, were you studying anybody, like, on some, like, oh, nah, his punchlines is hard or her punchlines is hard. Like, I got to come like that type shit. I want to say like that. Or did anybody inspire I like you when to do I started, it? When I started making music, that's when mm -hmm. I started really paying attention to more, like, bro, I don't know how to really explain it, because when I was younger, mm -hmm. I never had, I never had an uh, idol or, like, somebody I looked up to, like, music-wise, that I was like, I want to be like that person. Or, right. I want to rap because, and like I said, I didn't care about rap. I just was able to do it. Like, okay. I used to read a lot, so I guess, like, my vocabulary was just right. up there, so then when I was writing, and then my brother used to rap. Mm-hmm. So I understood. I listened to music. Like, you I knew understood what was going how on. it goes. Right. You feel me? So, but I never really, like, I never really had, a, like, somebody like that. Like, I don't know. So what about now? Now that you're, like, you're older, you're like, aware, I can tell this you is your artists, career. Like, artists that I listen to that I like, but I, would, I still wouldn't say, like, I wouldn't get stuck on a song and think, let me go listen to this person. Mm. And I can, like, I don't, I don't do that. I try not to do that because I feel like that's how people end up picking up other people's bars. Okay. So, like, when I'm writing, I just stare clear of music, period. Like, I don't. Hmm, that is really interesting. And sometimes I don't even, like, you know how when people do remix beats? Okay. I don't like to, I don't really like to do them sometimes either because of that. It reminds you of. Yeah, like, you know, once you already have a, a the song in your head, it's like. Yeah. So, I feel like people who, who do that is fire. So, when you do write those punchlines or, like, you doing wordplay, are you, is it intentional or is it shit, like. You just got the gift of gab. No, it was, that was intentional. <laughs> <laughs> that specific bar? No, that was bar? intentional. No, like, I have bars, like, yeah, like. Yeah. But, like, what do you mean by intentional? Like, like, are you building? Okay, Devin explained this really well, actually. Yeah. She said that she feels like it's almost like a math or a science when you write in verses because you're making sure you have certain things in the verses yeah. and making sure, like, nah, this one going to get them or I'm going to grab their attention with this, whatever the case may mm -hmm. be. So is that your thought process yes, or is it more of a natural sister. thing? That's what that's my sister. Yeah, it's, it's like that. Like, okay, I purposely, like, if you notice, I feel like I have hard bars and, like, I have, like, mediocre bars that's, like, like calm. Like, they still fire, but it's calmer. It's not than, in your face. Yeah, right. because I, like... In my music, I like bold. I like bold rap. Like, you know mm -hmm. what that means? Like, I have certain punchlines that I'm like, yo, this part is the... Rah, yeah. Rah, rah, rah. And I feel that. I, I have that. Like, I purposely be, like, trying to, like, calm down. And then I'll be, like... I Build it up. If I calm down, and then I say some shit like this, that's fire. Like, so... Yeah, okay. I would agree with that. Now, another thing I wanted to ask you is, how do you decide where the Kenzo B... Oh, goes in the song. Shit, that's a good question. All right, I really just do it on beat. Okay, I do but I feel like usually you be doing it in the beginning, right? And then I heard her love story. You fucked me up because it was mid. It was mid song. I said, "Oh, this is interesting." So I really <laughs> wanted to ask you that. Um, her love story. I don't even remember. You talking about the little bridge, right? Like the little break. Um, right? yeah, in the middle. Right. Yeah, that was literally just on beat too. So wherever you feel like Even it belongs. Even though the beat like, was down, mm -hmm. it was on beat. Like, I was still like, but was some type of rhythm with it. So why did you decide, okay, I'm going to put it in the middle here? Or because as opposed I'm to... not a good shit talker in my music. What? Like, talk. Like, I could rap. 
I could talk my shit rap wise. Okay. But when the like when it's like shit like that where it's like just that bridge where I just wanted to be calm. Yeah, like I'm okay, I'm okay, taking okay, my okay. break of rapping. I can't be like yeah, cause y'all bitches like <laughs> I don't like how I sound talking on the mic on a song. Okay, 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 okay. So I don't do that. I was about to say now that I'm thinking about it, you don't. I don't do that. Hmm. So instead of like leaving it blank, I just add little stuff like top two and I'm not too like. That's that's how I even started even saying that because I don't know how to talk shit and like the people I was working with, like I was in the studio with, mm -hmm. used to tell me like yo you gotta do some type of intro and I'm like bro I don't know what to say like okay I, so I always just say like gra like I just always come <laughs> in like that no for real I literally <laughs> always come in like that because it's like that's just how I get my feeling in the beat I can't just okay. talk like I don't know hmm I don't know I think we might need Kenzo talking her shit on the song I think we need you like. Nah, I don't know, because y'all bitches is weird. Da, 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 da. Like, I think we might need that. I think I did some shit like that. You want to hear it? It's out? You want to hear it? It's After the out. interview? It's not out. I'm playing right now. Ooh. But I'm only exclusive. playing the intro. Exclusive. I'm playing the intro, though. Talking to sound exclusive. But it was Kenzo. Like, this this wasn't me. It's not even too much, but I'm making it. I know I'm making a big deal over it. Y'all don't hear it, but this is not me, so it's like a big deal. I always have one thing to say. Period. So, yeah. Is that the snippet that you posted the other day? Yeah. That's also in the question. <laughs> so, let's... I'm going to bring it up now. Yeah. I am on a hashtag ban snippet campaign. I feel that you should have to post the, the you should have to give us the song within a month of the snippet because y'all go, let me look at the camera. You no. Know. Y'all go crazy with the snippets. Devin got like seven under her belt that I need. You be on the story just, I have, and you throw it out there. I have like 20 snippets. It kills me. Like what, is there a science behind it? What's the, what's the vibes? Why we do that? Why do I do that? Okay. I do that <laughs> because I'm somebody, I can't hold music. Okay. So even when I'm not supposed to be doing that, I do that. <laughs> Which fucks up, like, how it looks to the fans. Like, you know, like, okay. like to my supporters and shit. You just be excited? I be too, like, I shock myself in the studio. Okay. So when I do that, I'm like, I know these people's gonna, like. Go crazy. It's more like a, like, a proud thing. Like, I'm okay. so proud of this song. I want to share it with y'all. Right. But you're not sharing it If it, it was up us. to me, I'd post the whole song. Uh. Same day, studio. I, I said this in an interview before. Like, I wish I can write a song, record it, record the video, and drop it all the same day. Uh, but that but business. But it doesn't work like that. Yeah. Like, it doesn't. So, I just use the snippets. The snippets is like, 20 seconds, that's not going to hurt. Somebody. A little taste. Yeah. So, speaking of being shocked on the verses, you said that D-Thing had heard the Gang Gang verse. Yeah. When you did it, I right? I spoke to him about that recently. So how was I that? Didn't know, I didn't even. I I think I was lying when I said that. <laughs> I what? swear. Wait, when I said that? In oh, I don't know their name. It was when you had the ponytail though. Pink. Yeah. I I think I was lying because I just recently. That's that spoke, Pisces shit. I think I I recently just spoke to him and I asked him that again. I was like, Yo, you heard the song? And he was like, Yeah, bro, you body that. Uh, uh. Okay, period. He was telling me some other stuff, but you really <laughs> like. But we definitely, we like the song. Okay. But we need a song. like Just y'all too. Yeah. Did you hear the song before? Like, was your verse the last verse? Because I know it comes last yeah. in the song. Okay. So when you do stuff like that, mm -hmm. do whoever you're on the song with, does their verses uh, inspire yours at all? Yes. Okay. So you try you to can, keep it you related? You that in Gang Gang. Like, I purposely did this because D things locked up. Mm-hmm. But I, if you hear, like, I use his flow in my okay. verse. Okay. Like, when he was, like, the part when I'm, like, yo, they say I'm moving different. If they wasn't hating, they wouldn't be pressed. Okay, I actually didn't pick up on that. Because when I first heard his verse, I, like, I started liking a person. It was, like, she, like, did thing you know you don't want to be styling. Right. So I started, like, I did it like that. Like, okay. I, I didn't notice it on Gang Gang, but I did notice it on Evil Twin. With Bando? Yeah. 
I feel like you was very much. That's another real rapper thing that you do. I feel like you stay on subject. Like if you talking about yeah. something, you stay on topic. Yeah. Just very much real rapper. I love me and Bando actually. Me and Bando actually wrote Evil Twins in the studio together. Okay. We wrote it in, and recorded in the studio. Like basically, we was in a studio recording. What did we record that day, bro? Do you remember? I remember we was in bro. We was in Manhattan Beach. And I was recording some song. I don't, I think, I honestly think it was, it was like, it had to be like sanction or no, that came way after. What the hell was I recording? Is it out? Yeah, it's definitely out. Matter of fact, I, I remember I was, I was recording Make It Lit. Mm. I was recording Make It Lit. And then Crickland came, y'all know who Crickland is, right? Mm-hmm. So Crickland came to the studio and I think he had asked me some funny shit like, oh, you be writing your own lyrics or Bando be writing for you. I'm like, what, bro? And he was like, you feel me? I, I could be lying. I ain't gonna lie. But I don't remember why. He started playing beats for us, though. Okay. Like, I was never, I knew, like, it had to be a conversation like that because I was never about to, like, hit different. Yeah, that's, that's, that's Make It Lit. Remember, we just changed the name. But it had to be something like that because I was never supposed to do another song in the studio. Okay. But... He ended up playing beats for us, and we heard the Evil Twist beat. Yeah, that shit Bando is just, tough. Mind you, this is our first time. This is me and Bando's first time writing together since mm-hmm. we were seven, eight years old. Like, that, that Really? Young. Like, we was never... His whole time rapping, before I was rapping, mm-hmm. I was, like, we never wrote together. Not even until, for fun? Not even for fun. Oh, damn. Like, he, his career was strictly his career, and I, didn't, I wasn't doing music. Like, right. I was just, bro, that nigga didn't even used to invite me into to his video shoots. Oh, bro, but <laughs> damn. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> it's all right. Free bid, though. No, I'm heavy on it. After that, me and Bando just was, we was jacking the beat. Okay. And then he went in his corner. Like, it was like, he went over there. I went over there. And Crickland just sitting on the couch. We just sitting there writing, 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 writing. I think I, matter of fact, Bando finished his verse before me. That's how he ended up being first. So y'all didn't. No, matter of fact, I finished my, I finished my chorus before him. Okay. Okay. So, but y'all didn't, like, sit down together, like, no. oh, I'm about to say this. He sat in his that. corner, I sat in my corner. We never even heard each other's verses until we oh, put shit. It on the song. Literally. That's crazy. And we just go together, right? No, literally. It's very much puzzle piece. Very yeah, much like, puzzle I piece. Yeah, I think, what was, what was my, my first book for? Was just Drama movie. queen. Don't let him, yeah. Don't let him, don't like, we can't go out for nothing. He reaching no play, he get hit up for bluffing. I after I said that, I went in the studio, said that. I'm writing my verse. Bando put his chorus part in his verse. Mm. He, I think he he, yeah, he laid his verse before me. Okay. When he finished laying his verse, I laid my verse, and it just was fire. <laughs> Do you feel like it was different because, well, the studio session was different because it was your brother, or it was just, like, regular collab shit? Mm, I think it was different because it was my brother, because I'm used to being in the studio with him. Right. More comfortable? Yeah. Not even more comfortable. I feel like I'm the same, like, I'm the same, like, with everybody, honestly, but... We just got chemistry, if that makes yeah. sense. Like, I just like it. Just felt like old days. Okay. Cause okay. that's how that's how we used to write when we was younger. We never wrote together. Mm-hmm. My brother used to. It, it was a competition thing when we were younger, though. Like, my okay. older brother used to rap. Then he basically was just he used to just tell me and Bano like, all right, you go in your room, you stay in the living room, I'm going my room, and then right. boom, when we all come back, we all come back in twenty minutes, and then whoever got the best verse is like. That's who get the house credit or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know I did me? hear you say that story, and when you said earlier about the not hearing people's, uh, not wanting to rap on people's beats. Yeah. Because that's what I was thinking of with the whole um him and me Glon when I was. Yeah. Coming. Yeah, yeah. So you mentioned make it lit. Mm. What made you change the beat? What made me ch- the sample? Oh, it was another sample thing. Yeah. It's different. It's yeah. Different. So what made you keep it the same for the the freestyle video? Um, I think that was before I found out that I had to change the beat. Mm. Or no, actually, I'm lying. I didn't have the new be- the new song. Oh, when I recorded the that. the beat to the new song. Yeah, I didn't okay. have the I didn't have that the like because no, every time I I use the same vocals, okay. I just really needed the song. Right, but I didn't have the song, and I think I just did that on some like. That's mad. I heard 
the Make It Lit that's on streaming platforms now yeah. before I heard the hit different one. Which one do you like? Personally, I like the regular, the one that's on streaming platforms. Because that that's was the first good. time I oh heard you gosh. on that type wow. of beat. Shout out, okay, shout out to shout out to Raina because I be arguing Raina down. Mm-hmm. Raina's my A&R. Okay. I be arguing her down like, bro, those songs sound crazy because I'm you didn't like the it. first. I didn't like any of them. I think I like make it lit a little bit more than all the rest of the beats. Okay. But I didn't I didn't like it more than the original beat. So it's like what? it's comforting tell me, telling me that like you like that one. When I heard it, I was like once that the the beat kick in, because that was the first time I had heard you on a beat like that, I was like, nah, she ate this. So when I heard it was Wait, on a make different it lit beat. came out before her love story? No, but even so her love story don't have the the jersey. Okay, okay, okay. That's okay, what I meant. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like her love story wasn't really too shocking to me because it had sounded like a couple of the snippets that you had posted, mm-hmm. um, which actually is a great segue into this whole singing thing. Because I know you also sing. I love you more than anything. Period. <laughs> Top two, you not to. So, Bitch. <laughs> okay. I don't want to like get too far but the way you say bitch is so interesting to me like it's not like a bitch it's like a bitch 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 (laughs) bitch (laughs) bitch love it um (laughs) so are we gonna get more singing from kenzo b yes yes okay is it on the the album yes love that now going back to the ep what was the reception for your ep like what does that mean like how did the people react to it? Like, what was the feedback you was getting? I think I got all feedback for my EP. Like, good? Yeah. Bad? I mean, yeah, like, all good feedback. Okay, okay, That's okay. What I to say. So, why we didn't put no new songs on there? I think, I don't think, I, at that time, I don't think I, like, by the time I, I made up my mind to do the EP, I don't mm-hmm. think I had new songs. Okay, okay, okay. Right. And it, then, if anything, my new songs were Make It Lit, those were my new songs. I just snippet all my music. Yeah. So it always sounds like, oh, I've been heard that. Like, mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying? So, and then I think before I was definitely doing um, longer snippets than I do now. Okay. But Sanction, Sanction was, Sanction was in, oh. I don't I think Sanction saying, was I know why you're saying, I know what you're saying. I, I think you're saying it was no. like four songs or it five, went, maybe. Okay. It's because it dropped as a rollout instead of. When you I'm first got into, signed, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. But I, well, I was signed for very long for that. But oh, I was like, but it's like I dropped it every week instead of dropping. I'm not into dropping music all one night. Like I'm At not into time? dropping six songs in one night. Okay. I'm not into that. Okay. So we dropped it every week instead, so that I could do like a some type of so I could have some type of rollout. Okay. And then when it went on streaming platforms, it went as an EP. Mm-hmm. So that's why it's, not, it's like, it seemed like it wasn't new song. Mm-hmm. But it's like, y'all was just getting it like at different times. And that was it together. Compact. Yeah, like that was just on streaming platforms. That's just like what it really was. But like on YouTube, mm-hmm. it dropped every week. But that's because I wanted to drop a, I wanted to drop a music video for each song. Oh, shit. But it's like, I didn't know it wasn't normal to do that. <laughs> I feel like in 2023, it fake might be. It might be normal, right? Yeah. I feel like ever since Beyonce done gave us a music video for every single album, I mean, for every song on the album, mm-hmm. like now it's an expectation almost. But I didn't even know Beyonce did that, but I'm just thinking like that. Like, I want to do a music video to every one of my songs. You like music videos? Like, you like filming them? Yeah, and I feel like visuals make a song more, like, it, it like, glorifies a song. Yeah, I definitely. If you really could like see how I'm moving when I'm spitting, like, yeah, I feel like that makes its own better. Yeah, I think when I heard the realest, I heard the song before I watched the video. So at this point, I barely even knew what you looked like for real. Yeah. And I ain't gonna lie, that's I feel like that's a bad example though. Like, why I feel like the realest? Nah, the realest speaks for itself. Like video, I don't. I feel like the video definitely glorifies it. Mm-hmm. But I feel like the realest. No, the realest is my favorite Kenzo B song. That's my favorite Kenzo B song. But I think once I was able to put the face to the song, it was like so much better. Like you wasn't like beastie and manly and like you yeah. know what I'm saying. Like it was yeah. like this pretty girl yeah. is talking this hot shit, <laughs> and the the combination just really did it for yeah. me. So I think definitely with the music videos, period. Yeah. 
Um, actually, I was gonna ask you. So, is that another uh like sample clearance thing? Because I'll be listening to the bootleg one on Apple Music. I promise y'all, I'm going to get 50 Cent to clear that beat. 50. One day. 50. I promise y'all, like, he's yeah. a cool dude. Yeah. I already know he got me, bro. He a cool cat? He's a cool cat. You heard that, 50? Because <laughs> we need that on all streaming platforms. No, we do. And I'm not changing. I'm not changing that beat. I don't think you should. I'm going to just put it on the streaming platforms with the beat. I'm going to just do it. Somebody did. It's called Kenzo B. Striker. That's the one I'll be listening to. <laughs> no. Don't go lie. listen to that. I'm not going to lie. That shit is on, it was on my Apple Music replay. Word. The Kenzo B. Striker got done no, to me. No, for real, for real, I'm not changing that beat. Like, I I have too, I'm too close to that song. Yeah. So, I'm definitely going to get 50 to. Period. Yeah, we need yeah. that. We need that. So, now, let's move forward in your career. Now, you're signed. Tell the people you signed to. I mean, we all know. but tell Warner Records. To. Oh. Clear that up, actually. Warner Records. Okay. I'm, I might have to call Steve-O right now <laughs> and have him say this on camera because yeah. bitches think they know me. I definitely heard the, the Kenzo sign to French a couple times. And I know you got the Coke Boy chain, so I'm explain that. that. Because explain I'm it. that official. Because niggas fuck with me that much that they got me a chain without me having to be signed to them. Oh, so you're not signed to him? No, I'm signed to Warner Records. Okay, see, I thought it was like a a distribution type of thing. So explain that to to all of us then. So how does who are you signed to? Well, we know Warner Records. So I'm how did that happen? Records. And like, how does that like what's the what's the you know what I'm saying? French is my executive producer. Okay, got it. That's it. Okay, that's just that. Yeah. So how did you end up with Warner? I signed my deal with Warner first, and then French became my executive producer. So what made you pick Warner? Um, honestly, Steve-O. Okay. Like, just his, I, I feel like I, I picked it more, like, of course, because of the deal part, but, like. Right. Honestly, I just felt more, like, comfortable in, like, that meeting. Okay. So and, and they made you feel. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. welcome. Do you see yourself doing anything other than music? Yeah. I see myself doing everything. That's the problem. Everything, everything like acting, everything that comes my way, I want to do. I feel like, I feel like I don't think about doing stuff until like, like I don't, I don't. Right, today, right now, mm-hmm. I don't see myself in a movie. But tomorrow, if somebody hit me up and asked me if I wanted to be in a movie, yeah, you gonna be with it. Yeah. What type of role you would play? <laughs> I think I could play. We gonna have to hit, get fifty on the phone because I'm. It's giving. It's giving BMF. power. It's giving BMF. Oh, BMF. It's not giving goals. You don't want to be a college student no, I, with them? No, no, no. Mm. I would I would do that. I would I would body that role. But I think it's giving BMF. Mm. It's giving 80s? You would want to do that? That's interesting. So do you see yourself? I want my hair in curls. I want to wear dark lip, lipstick and... Giving Lala? Oops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with a little... No, I was looking at this like, you know, like, people from back in the days... They used to wear, like, little, like, you know, the little cute chains. Like, you didn't have to have a big chain in the 80s. The girls I'm talking about. Okay, 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 okay. They used to okay. wear, like, the little, like, how you got your your name changed? Mm-hmm. Like, I want to wear stuff like that. Not nah, worried. This, I told, I'm getting married in this. I'm never taking this off years later, ever. <laughs> Word. So, do you see yourself being a content creator? Because I know you dibbled and dabbled yeah. in the YouTube, and you said you wanted to connect with your right. fans more. Yeah, and I'm about like, to start vlogging. Okay. So, so, YouTube? Yeah. Okay, full-time? Like, you see yourself being, like, a... No, like, I feel like I'm going to vlog stuff that has to do with music. I'm not about to be okay doing pranks and stuff. Right. Like, no, I'm doing, like, studio vlogs. Get ready with me for video shoots or mm-hmm. sh- a big show, or, like, collab studio session, like, stuff like that. Okay. Promote yourself still. Promote yeah. your music. Love that. So, do you, are you still doing the videos with Nodi with in Nody, the car? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nodi, like, in particular or, like, both? Um, I mean. I just started, like. YouTube videos in I general. Stopped, Let's say that. I stopped. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I stopped doing them for a minute, mm-hmm. and then I just started. But I don't think I just told Nodi this because I don't know. I read comments. Okay. I want you to know. I read comments. So I don't like when fans be trying to make it seem like I need this platform. Okay. So that's making me feel like I don't want to do it. Do it. Mm-hmm. But. 
I was gonna ask you why you stopped doing videos with Nodi for a while. If you, I wanna. stopped doing videos with Nodi because he's a clout chaser. Well, he was a clout chaser. We cool now, so okay. he was a clout chaser. Like, not even a clout chaser. I wouldn't even call him a clout chaser, but he used to do weird shit like with clickbait and shit, like his titles and shit, or and like that whole narrative. Like we were dating, it was just turning me off. Like. It was cool at first. Like, okay, that's just something the fans are saying. But, like, when he started pushing the narrative, mm-hmm. it started turning me off. So, I'm like, all right, bro, now you're just giving weird. Yeah. And then, so I just stopped fucking with him. So, you feel like, do you feel like the pranks in the, the all of those videos, you feel like they be going too far sometimes? You feel like it's too much for you sometimes? Not even the videos. I feel like they, not even they. Like, Boo was, Boo was good. Like, Boo mm-hmm. would know. If I tell him, like, bro, I'm not doing that, he's not even going to. Like, but, like, with Nodi at that time, it's, like, I would tell him, like, bro, okay, I am i don't want to do this. And I'll give him a logical explanation, too. Like, it's not that I don't want to do it because you want me to do it. It's just I don't want to do it because at the end of the day, I'm a rapper. I'm not, we're not in the same. Right. Like, you get what I'm saying? You're not the same a, field. You're him. a YouTuber. I'm a yeah. rapper. It's, like, certain shit I just, I'm just not doing. Like, yeah. And then it's, like, I wouldn't even do this shit in real life. Right. So I'm not about to act like I'm doing it and then I'm getting bashed for some shit that I'm acting like for you. Like, what the fuck I'm getting out of that? I'm not doing that. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I did watch y'all. Uh, well, I watched his reaction to y'all latest video. And you was in the video talking about, you know, you can do normal content. If people yes, like, still you can watch. do so this real makes content. Sense. Because, like, like, for example, I would be sitting there and I'll be, I'll be acting normal. And he'll be like, you, like, Kendra, dude, and I'm like, bro, I'm acting how I would normally act. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not. You're not into putting off the camera. Like, bro, I'm not about to jump at you because you told me. <laughs> like, you get what I'm saying? Like, they, like, that's what he be wanting me to do. Like, it's like, that's not me. And I know I can't, like, I'm not into that. So I'm not going to yeah. look like I'm into that on camera. It's just going to look fake. So I'm just yeah. making us look stupid. And then even more you because that's your content. I don't yeah. really, you get what I'm saying? So, but, yeah, so. Makes sense. So while we're talking about fun stuff, we're going to play a game, okay? Please. So this game is called Top 2 and Not 2, all right? Kenzo B. Now, tell me who's top two in these categories and tell me which one of them is not two. So <laughs> give me number two and number one, okay? So the first one, mainstream female rappers. Oh, I have to, like, come off the top of my head? Yeah, girl. Yes, rapper. Oh, shit. Top two mainstream females rappers. Can you give me, like, can you, like, give me five five girls? Um, Well, we already discussed Nikki. Uh, Ice Spice, I feel like it's pretty mainstream now. Okay. Um, Cardi, Megan, Lotto, City Girls, Lola. I'll be jacking she's mainstream now. I could, I could jack that. Lola. Mad people in the room. Y'all don't know nobody. Damn. <laughs> Who? Every, I think I said. So I out of know. that category, I feel like you said who you said. Um, City girls. You said mulatto. You said um, Cardi, Megan, Cardi, Megan, um, Lola, Ice. Nikki, I feel like that's Nikki not, one of the mainstream ones. We shouldn't we even. That. Well, if it's Nikki, if it's Nikki, then it's like, oh damn, I have to like order them. Oh God! Who, who's top two and who's not two? Oh God! Okay, so <laughs> I know some people are gonna be offended by this, but it's cool. I feel oh, like there's old ones too, though. There's like the Missy Elliotts, the Lauren Hills, the Lil Kims, the Foxy Browns. I feel like they okay. Got so let's okay. do that. Yeah, that makes my life easier. Okay, <laughs> that doesn't make my life easier. Oh damn. This I feel like she like, should answer this one. I feel She's like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, I'm going to go with, I feel like we should take Nikki and Cardi out of this. Okay. Because I feel like they're on a whole. Okay. That's like playing Beyonce. Superstar level. Yeah, like that's yeah, like yeah. putting Beyonce in this category with these people. Okay. So I'll go for City Girls. I just, no, I'll go for, top two will be for me. Fuck. Mulatto. Yeah. Okay. Mulatto definitely number one in this category. And I think, like, I feel like, damn, can the City Girls and Megan be two? Th- that's that's four, but That's definitely fine. four, but, like, <laughs> the City Girls have one. Okay. But I feel like they're, like, yeah, like. Okay. The next one, social media platforms. Top, top two, 
would be Instagram, Twitter. Really? Not two would be Facebook. What other ads is it? Facebook and Snapchat then? Definitely yeah. Snapchat. Facebook okay, Snapchat. internet personalities. So that's like TikTokers, YouTubers, influencers, Instagram baddies, shit like that. Oh, like say who's top two. Okay, top two Instagram baddies. Anybody on the internet that's an internet personality. I'm naming the girls from Baddie West. Okay, <laughs> top two out of them girls. I would say... I say my top two is Krishan and Tommy. Tommy's a good one. Like I can't. I know it's a lot of it's a lot of influencers and stuff, mm. but like I can't, I can't mean I can't like categorize them right now. Okay. At this moment, so I'm just gonna go with Baddies West, and those are my top two. On okay. There. Not two is that. What's that girl name? Cat. I don't like her. I'm not gonna lie. I don't watch Baddies West. I don't like. I'm Kat. not a Zeus girl, and I don't like. Nah, Rolly's cool. I don't like the the girl from Providence, Biggie. I don't like Biggie. I be seeing Get her name tune. on my Facebook Get a lot. Get in tune with that, and then you're going to see exactly why I don't like Kat and Biggie. You know how we were talking about anxiety? <laughs> it gives me anxiety. Like, it just, every time, like, even the Bad Girls Club, when I watch the Bad Girls Club for too mm-hmm. long, like, it make me antsy, like, and I got to calm down, watch some cartoons or something. So the next one, fast food spots. McDonald's and Wendy's, top two. Okay. Not two. Um, I say... White Castle and no, I wouldn't even say White Castle. I'd eat White Castle. Um, Taco Bell and Checkers, Arby's, Burger King. Arby's is I those is all trash. Ar- Arby's is, is number two. Yeah, word those trash. I say no. Yeah, tacos is like one for not two, but <laughs> Arby's is two for not not two. Okay, so the next one is clothing brands. Clothing brands, like, my favorite clothing brand. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm not a fashion type of person. Really? I wear what I wear. I wear what I like. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Like, yeah. Next one, cereal. Cereal, Fruity Pebbles, number one. <laughs> Fruity Pebbles, number two. Oh, shit. Not two pops. <laughs> Whoa, you lost me. Not two pops. And the, the, the regular Cheerios. Okay. I could I could get with the like the like the the ones that I think is like a raspberry shit. They have Here's a raspberry version, right? With fruity pebbles. You don't feel like you're in a race to finish them? Yes. Before them shit gets soggy and get lost in the milk. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yo, you gotta as soon you gotta eat that shit as soon as you pour. Like bro, sometimes I be wanting to pour the, I, I, I be wanting to pour the milk first and then pour it so it could just be. That gives cereal killer. That gives cereal. I've done that a few times. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not jacking it. I'm not gonna lie. We not jacking that. So the next one, TV show characters. TV show characters like SpongeBob and them, mm-hmm. or like real humans, cartoons, any TV show character. Mm. Damon Salvatore, number one. Okay. Vampire Diaries. Um, what else I be watching? Number two. Yeah, I'm telling. I'm, I'm talking about the niggas. Um, number two will be. I know you oh, y'all ever power. seen The Outsiders? Oh, no. Y'all never seen The Outsiders? Uh-uh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you um, like TV, OG? Like, you be watching TV shows, OG? Yeah. The Outsiders not even a TV show. It's, it's a movie. I watched that mm. shit in school. It's a book? Yes. I read the book. So, Darren Winston. Well, I fake like I I think that's his name, Darren Winston. I hope that's it. It's the throwback for me. Okay. Last three. Mm-hmm. These you could just give me top two. Right. You don't got to give me not two. Ad-libs. Top two ad-libs? Kra! <laughs> Suck my dick! <laughs> <laughs> it's not like, huh? Like, what? No. That was a one-time thing. I didn't I didn't make that as an ad-lib pers- purposely. Like, it was okay. supposed to be like a bar. Okay. Got it, got Because I didn't want to use the ad-lib. Mm-hmm. Like people were saying, like, like, like what, like how? People right. saying, like, huh? People right. saying, like, what? But nobody ever said, like, huh? Like what? <laughs> nobody ever said that. 
<laughs> Bro, it's the different combinations that's taking me out. Name name somebody who said that. Kenzo. B. <laughs> I did it good that time? You did it good that time. Okay. Okay, so the next one is Kenzo B songs. Kenzo B songs, top two, top two, not two. Okay. I'm giving you not two for this one, too. Oh, shit. Okay. okay. Top two, <clears throat> definitely the realest, number one. Mm-hmm. What other one am I am I fucking with? The realest, I'm going to say no tweaking. However, Dump It is up there, too. My not two will be Sanction. I hate that song. Why? I just hate it. I, that's not my original beat, and I just hate it. What? And I hate the video. I hate everything about that song. I hate everything about that drop. I hate the day that that dropped. But anyways, Sanction, definitely not too. I'm very surprised. Um, What other songs do I have out? And I'd say surprisingly, it, this is not saying that they're bad songs. These are just like my really least favorite songs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my two least favorite. Sanction and then Wish is becoming one of my least favorite That's crazy. Songs. The flow That's, on Wish goes I don't. I don't dumb. even, my heart just broke saying that. I don't even feel comfortable saying that because... Yeah, I went crazy on that song. No, you did. That's one of my like. I feel like I oh, I got so much better from then. Mm-hmm. It feel, and then that wasn't my flow to begin with. I've already put it, like made a different flow on that. Okay. So I was like, yeah, I'm not feeling that. And the last one, female drill artist. Female drill artist, top two. <laughs> Is she allowed to say herself? Y'all jacking it? Okay. I don't feel like that's fair. No, I'm gonna just say. So I'm gonna just say me and me. I was expecting you and Devin. Yeah, I feel like me and Devin is top two, not two, but like, it's. I feel like, I feel the same way with like how I said Megan the City Girls. Okay. I feel like it's a lot of people that's that could possibly be like that. So I did, I said me and me. Well, who's your personal the, favorite? Who's my personal favorite? Mm-hmm. Devin's my favorite drill artist. Okay. Female. Body. Right. But I'm saying like. I don't want to, I don't want to, like, I have other favorites, too. Like, Devin's my favorite, because she's so, like, I haven't heard nobody, drill wise do the same thing that I could do, like. Right. Besides her, like, you feel me? And then, like, I started fucking with Maya. Like, she could do the same shit that I could do, so it's like. Yeah. But other than that, I, I do listen to other girls, and I feel like they, but, yeah, more or less me and Devin. Okay. So, while we're on the, the subject of female drill artists, Kay Goddess mm-hmm. said that she was the first New York drill girlie. So, who do you feel like is the pioneer out of the, the New York drill girls? Mm, I think I would say probably, I don't know, who, who was rash, rapping longer than Young M.A.? Nobody that's out right now. Miss Hussle's Not the, that I know of, anyway. Wait, well, well the way that she said was... On a drill beat. Okay. I don't know. Devin did a drill beat a couple of years ago. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Okay. Devin did a Devin did a, a drill beat. Yeah, you could say like 2017. But do you feel like the pioneer is the person who did it first? Or, or the pioneer is the person who, yeah. I feel like I made it cute. <laughs> like, in a way. Like, you get what I'm trying to say about that? Like, I made it. No, not even a trend. I feel like Digestible? people took me serious when I started. Mm. When I from my first song, people took me serious. Okay, like I feel like nobody who was actually supporting me. Like you know how supporters be like, somebody could like you or like one of your songs, and they feel like okay, nah, she's not really like okay. But I feel like nobody ever like nobody felt like that about me. They was just on board. Yeah, like nobody heard bump it and like laughed. Right, I don't feel like that. Okay. Other now, females, though? Yeah. Okay. So, a certain someone said that they was leading the, the pack for the back to them, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but then she cleared it up, and she said, you know, like, she was more so talking about the, the newer girls. What's your, like, does that change anything for you, the fact that she said that she wasn't no, talking about you? No, it doesn't change true? anything, because whether she was talking about the newer girls or not... <clears throat> One thing I could say is, let me have, I'm trying to say this without sounding like an asshole or like I'm trying to say some shit for 
Okay. You can't bring up you can't bring up the start of female drill without saying my name. I don't care if we're ops or mm-hmm. whatever bitches want to consider me as. I don't care how much you don't like a person. You can't. Right. You can't leave me out of that topic. Yeah. So if you do, that's intentional shade. Okay. That's how I was taking it. Okay. Well, she said that she was more so talking about girls who recently got on by using her name. Not y'all because y'all been doing y'all thing. No, but even still, she didn't include me in the y'all. I didn't care what the fuck she said about mm-hmm. the girls coming out now. Like, I don't. I'm at a. I'm at a point in my career. Where I don't have to pay attention to none of these girls. Right. I don't care. Mm-hmm. But it was the uh, who started it for okay. me. Who like in your eyes? Like this is this this is the the like interviewer in your eyes. Who started? You can't leave me out of that that conversation. Like. Unless you're doing it purposely. So, how did you feel about the events following, more specifically, the song with with Murder B and Shawnee? I feel like it was weird. But it was just weird because my thing is, everybody's their own person. I'm not the type of girl to be like, if you're friends with this person, you can't be friends with me. Clearly, right. I had a song with Shawnee. We're full of all that shit, and we're not even from the same side. Right. But I'm going to just keep it 100 with y'all. When Shani did a song with Maya Kenzo, she asked me for permission, literally, like, months ago. I had DM. She told me that, like, the girl wanted a song with her. She told me, like, yo, I'm telling you this. And I told her the same thing, like, bro, that's your, bro, that's your career. That's your bag. You feel me? Like, go do that. Mm-hmm. But she told me that was the, that was the more, like, important part of it. I literally told her, like, yeah, I respect you because you told me, like, right. just for the fact that you told me you don't, you don't want to want me feeling no type of way, so you just putting me on. Mm-hmm. Now with Murder B, <laughs> it wasn't that. So that's weird. If okay. you wouldn't have did that the first time, I wouldn't have expected it. Right, right. But it was weird. Mind you, it's like, it was mad weird shit on the media about me and Shawnee before there was actually a situation. Okay. And I did, like, a month before. I actually never seen nothing about a month before this whole shit, I dead wrote her one day, and I'm like, yo, I see what you're doing, you feel me? Like, we started this shit, you feel me? Like, it's no drill females without us two, because we right. were the first, fuck that, in the Bronx, we were the first collab. Right. So, and all, the, all the female duo shit that's going on after that is like, we started that. That's one. And then two, I expected for you to ask for permission mm-hmm. or to even put me on as your man. I'm telling her, like, you feel me? Like, basically, I, w- I was talking about, I just lost my whole train of thought right there, but I was talking about the message that I sent her. Yeah, you I were saying her, you expected that because she already. No, this is before the situation. Okay. I wrote her and I'm like, yo, it's like the media's trying to make this weird ass narrative, but like, I okay, fuck okay, with okay. you. Like, I I see you going up, like, do your thing, like, da da da. She's like, yo, vice versa. I fuck with you. I'm like, bro, you know, we this our shit. Like, right. We're good. It's to the point, like, because after that, after our collab and shit, after the YouTube, after the show with my lotto and shit, we don't speak every day for us to be, like, for it to be a weird thing that we're not talking. So right, right, right. from then we wasn't talking, but then you that pop out. And then it was weirder because I had an argument with this girl. And then she going to go post. Yeah, well, anyways, when we dropping. Mm. So I'm like, bitch, what? Mm-hmm. Like, so, yeah, it was just weird. So, how, okay, let me word this right. Um, I think that one thing that I like that y'all do, it sucks that y'all are, like, at odds right now, but I do you and Shawnee, because I feel like y'all, like you said, y'all was the duo, like, mm-hmm. the cover art is the talk of the town shit, saying, like, are y'all the next duo, like, yeah. period. Um, but I do feel like, I think that it's fire as fuck that y'all all put it in the music. Mm-hmm. I think it is so odd that rappers go on, like, Twitter and shit and talk shit like they can't get in the studio. So I think that is so commendable of y'all. Um, Wait, what? That y'all put it in the music. Oh, like putting our feelings? Um, music? Or, like, instead of talking about our situation on social media, we're rapping about it? Right. I hate that for her. Oh, I okay, and I was me. and I was gonna ask you I hate about that, that for me. because I know you be saying that on the live, and I hate that for me. But I'm playing bitches' game because bitches don't want to play my game. 
Okay. So I'm going to play bitches game. But now here's my thing, right? That's how I feel. You said on the, the interview that, you know, Devin was telling you, like, you got to move like a superstar, right? Yeah. And for you to be as good of a rapper as you are. Oh, yeah, bitches better are, shout out Devin and my mom. <laughs> True. For you to be as good of a rapper as you are and, like, really know how to make a song, like, it don't, like, entice you, like, oh, I'm about to eat these bitches up on this record? You know what? Actually, I don't, but I'm not, I, I would do it. Mm -hmm. But I'm not into dissing bitches. Right. Or niggas. Okay. Or anybody in, like, direct dissing, I'm not into that. Mm -hmm. I subliminally, like, I talk about shit generally, like, subliminally, like, Anything that's relatable, like, to anybody. Whatever's and, going on right now. Yeah, like, like whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm, I rap about shit that's going on. But as far as direct, like, that's be more of a, I can do this. Like, okay. this is this is, this is is the thing. Like, I do that just to show, like, bro, bitches can't do nothing that. I can't do nothing that bitches is. I mean, it's nothing that bitches not is doing. doing nothing that you it's can't nothing do. that bitches yeah, yeah. is doing that I can't do. Right. But. When I don't do shit like this, is because I'm choosing not to. I always have the choice to do shit like this or the choice not to do this shit. Mm -hmm. So when I don't do this shit, yeah, that's definitely the choice. It's not because I'm, I can't do it or I don't know how to do it right. or I'm not good at it or like. So when I directly this bitches is like, I want you to know that this is how it can get. But I'm really not into that. I'm not into putting anything real life into music. But you just said you be saying relatable shit. I do, shit. but I'm talking about hot shit. I'm talking about, no, not even hot shit. I'm talking about, like, if you my op, for real, for real, like I said, I always generally speak until I don't. Okay. I always generally speak until I don't, like, and and bump it. Right. I w the whole song was general. Mm -hmm. That's a, a, relatable to anybody you, anybody you don't like. Right. But I intentionally said a couple things. this boy's yeah. name. Like, you feel me? Like, yeah. I don't even want to say it, but, like, I intentionally said this boy's name. Yeah. Because I can do that, like. Yeah. It's just it was just like the okay and now mm -hmm. look that bar that you said like it was just gonna be a boom right and smack in the face like that type of shit but other than that I just generally rap about shit that's it could be going on or it could be not like you forget what I'm saying like mm -hmm. but I'm saying as far as I don't like to for it to be confirmed like yo this is she's okay, rapping okay, about okay. what's going on like okay I want it I like for it to be like a what? what is she talking about right yeah. now? Like, yo, I know she's it, arguing it with this girl on Instagram, mm -hmm. but she's not even talking about mm -hmm. what they're arguing about, but I'm still talking my same hot shit. Like, you get what I'm trying to say? Okay. So another person, you, it was some static with, Maya Kenzo. Oh. We know you pulled up. Ain't no static. Ain't no static. You want to talk about it? Talk about it. So what happened with the whole, you went to the crib, <laughs> nobody came outside, so basically, I had woke up one day. Okay, and chose violence. No, I didn't wake up and choose like violence. Look, <laughs> I was I went I was on my way to the casino one day. Right, it's like five in the morning. I'm on my okay. way to the casino, and my little sister, aka D thing, little sister, she sent me a trailer of this girl, and she's like, "You saw this," and so I'm watching the trailer, and I'm like. I don't know that girl. And I'm just like, she said some, like, she said some, some shit that could possibly be about me, but I'm like, I'm not that, I'm, I'm not that delusional mm -hmm. for me to be thinking bitches is that delusional. I always give bitches the benefit of the doubt. Okay. So I'm like, okay, she could be talking about anybody. You feel me? She's not talking about, I don't know this girl. Right. So then now the next day comes and I wake up now. And so do you think this is it? She's sending me, a screenshot now of the the girl, mm -hmm. and the girl's like, "Yeah, well, Kenzo knew who I know who I am." I, uh, da da da. She put me and my girlfriend in a song, this that and the third, and I was like, "Who is this?" And she was like, "Yeah, she can't wait till she run into my her bitch, right?" Well, I'm not hard to find or some shit like that. It's you genuinely being weak right now. <laughs> Because I was so lost. Because if you know, you know. Like, first of all, what bumps did Dumpy come out? I have not. I can't even name the months anymore. But I know it. I had. To, I haven't dropped in a couple months. I haven't dropped in a couple months. Right. Bump it was not my last. Dump it was not even my last drop. Right. So it's like I was just looking at it. I'm just like, 
what? Yeah. And then at the same time, I'm like, I don't know this girl. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, okay, I know who this girl could be. Mm -hmm. You get me? So now, I didn't even, all right, look, basically, when I was live with, live about Murder B and Shawnee that day, I was basically saying how I just told you, like, oh, when Shani did the, the song with Maya Kenzo, she asked me for permission. Right. So I was I basically that. saying that on the live. Mm -hmm. And so I guess, like, the fans was going to Maya Kenzo telling her, like, yo, she's, um, talking sh about she you. was talking about you. Mm -hmm. So then she had joined my live. Mm -hmm. And then she followed me. Okay. She followed me on Instagram. And then, but I remember, it was some weird shit. Like, I remember... People was trolling me in my comments, so I had to turn my comments off. Like, if you don't follow me, you can't comment on my shit. Mm -hmm. So so I see that she's following me, and I'm like, nah, this bitch is weird. So now I left it there. I okay. left it there for probably, like, five minutes. And I think I was talking to somebody about it. And I was like, yo, I'm about to follow her back. Okay. And so when I went to go follow her back, she unfollowed me. So I went, and I DM'd her, and I'm like, yo... I was like, LMFAO. Matter of fact, I DM'd her, and because I have a new page, mm -hmm. I don't think we ever texted on this page that I got now. Okay. So it had the little accept message or... The request. It right? had the little request shit, but it mm -hmm. was no message there. But you know, like, if somebody sends you a, a message and unsends it, you can it's, still see mm -hmm. the request little line. Yeah. So it was no message. So I'm like, LMFAO, what you wrote? Or some shit like that. And I'm like, stop panicking. I was about to follow you back. I literally wrote her this. Like, yo, stop panicking. I'm about to, I was about to follow you back, girl, or some shit like that. And she was like, oh, um, what the fuck she said? She was like, oh, nobody panicking, and I only followed you because it wasn't letting me comment on your live type shit. Okay. So I'm like, oh. I was basically telling her, like, bro, I don't know what you was about to comment. No, she was like, yeah, and then when I went to comment or whatever, it you wasn't talking about me no more, so it was no, me, no need for me to comment. So I'm like, girl, I was never talking about you to begin with. I was saying the real. Like, right. I was, I never said nothing bad about you, but bitch, mm -hmm. fuck you too. Like, what the fuck? I don't care about you. We, But I didn't say that, but I'm just like, you feel me? Like, I was, was never talking about you. Like, mm -hmm. but yeah, that's how I'm looking at it. Like, girl, well, what? Right. So that I think we just left it at that. Like, I'm like, yeah, stop letting the fans get to your head, shorty. Like, and she like, oh, the fans not getting to my head. We just left it at that. Okay. Now I'm thinking, okay, months later, Maybe the little girl over it. You okay. feel me? Like, she was not doing nothing but talking in the studio anyway. So it was like, she stopped talking about me and her music. We stopped worried about each other. Like, we're in our whole own world mm -hmm. at this point. So I'm thinking, okay, she don't give a fuck about it no more. Now, fast forward to the day that I wake up now. I wasn't even going to bring it to Maya Kenzo because I'm like, okay, we just had this conversation and it didn't end up in an argument, so maybe I shouldn't bother her with this bullshit. Maybe she don't have nothing to do with this. This right. is her girlfriend. Yeah. So now I write the girlfriend. I'm like, yo, link up. She's like, I forgot what the fuck she said. I don't even care too much, but I just wrote her like, link up. Now I go in her comments now. Like I said, I read comments. Mm -hmm. I very much read comments. But I go in her comments now, and Maya Kenzo is like, in the comments, bold letters, capitals. Yeah, da 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 da, -da fire, uh, explanation point, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay. I go on her DM, I'm like, you condoning your girlfriend dissing me, like, come outside with her. That's it. I was going to leave it alone, but, like, oh, y'all want to keep bothering me? Come outside. So then this girl sent me a, a Addy. No matter of fact, I think I had to beg her for the Addy first. But she, long story short, she sent me an Addy, and I'm telling her, like, bro, I don't got my wheels right now. First mm -hmm. of all. I should, Devin De very much should have been up here so she could have told y'all the story. I feel like this is her story to tell. But I do not have my car right now. My car is in the shop, right? Okay. So I'm telling her, like, okay, I'm not even on no talking hot to her. I'm just like, you know, like, we just going to get over with, like, link up. Yeah. We going to feel me? I'm like, bro, my car is in the shop, more or less. I'm waiting on my wheels right now when my wheels. Y'all were very calm in those messages. I'm like, I was like, this is very. I'm like, I'm waiting on my wheels. When my wheels get to me, uh -huh. I'm coming to you. I'm like, bro, like. So now she's like, okay, this is probably at like 2 p.m. Now she texts me at 5 p.m. She's like, yo, I, I what's up? Mind you, still waiting for my wolves. Okay. I'm still, I'm, I'm in my crib. I'm still in my crib. Right. So now I'm like, yo, don't do that. Like, don't try to text me or shit so you could go screenshot. I'm not doing no social media shit. But like, when I get my car or when I get a car to me, like when I'm on wheels, bro, 
I will come yeah. to you. Like, mm-hmm. I'm going to come to you. Like, it don't matter what time it is. Then I, at this time when I'm telling her all this, I'm like, yo, send me your address. Like, not not your friend's Addy, not your mm-hmm. where you be at till 7 o'clock p.m., like, where you sleep at. Because that way, if I come there at the time when I do get my wills, you still have no choice but to come outside because it's your house. You get what I'm saying? Like, where else are you going to be? Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking she sent me her house, Addy. She's not telling me it's not her house, her house, Addy. So then, long story short, I end up going. I'm writing a song. I'm writing a freestyle. I, I get off Instagram. I'm writing a freestyle after I told her that. She's like, and mind you, we like, yo, I'm like, no Instagram show. She's like, bro, nah, I'm not on none of that. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, I'm writing. I end up falling asleep while I'm writing. It's probably like 4 o'clock. I end up falling okay. asleep while I'm writing. I wake up at like 7, 8 o'clock. Mm-hmm. When I wake up, I think, bro, my... One of my close friends, little sisters, she's like 13 years old. Okay. Sends me Maya Kenzo's post. And it's me and her messages. When I was like, yeah, I don't got, like, I don't got no wills right now. Uh, uh. She's like, <laughs> this bitch in her caption, like, yo, um, yeah, this broke ass bitch. French Montana can't even get you a car. da 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 so I'm reading. I'm just so confused. I'm like, damn, a bitch car can't even like, first of all, <laughs> like fun fact, I bought my car off the lot before I could even drive. So that should have been banged up for me like a couple times. You feel mm-hmm. me? I just, it got banged up to the point where I couldn't, I, I like, I couldn't like, yeah, I couldn't. I had to put Driving it in the shop. Driving in New York is fucking tough. I had to put it in the shop. You feel me? So it's like, damn, a bitch can't even put her car in the shop or she's a bum. Like, or she, then now I'm <laughs> signed to French Montana. French Montana don't care about me. My label don't care about me. Yo, so now I'm confused. But now it gets me mad because I'm like, yo, we had a, like, we just had a perfectly civilized conversation. Like, I mm-hmm. thought this was going to go. Like, you're trying to front on me right now. Mm-hmm. I instantly, mind you, I, I pre this. I'm on, a, I'm on FaceTime my mom. So now I'm like, I get up now. I was, I was sleeping on the couch. I get up off the couch. I'm like, okay, now I'm up. I'm just screaming around. Now I'm up. I'm on face on my own. She's like, what's going on? I'm going to call you right back. I go, to her, I go to her crib. And while I'm on my way to her crib, mind you, because it's like 10, 11 o'clock, I'm like, this bitch going to pull a stunt. Like, I already know. So now I'm texting her. I'm writing her like an hour before I even get to her destination. And I'm like, yo, don't do this. Like, I already know you're about to tell me I'm too late. Yo, I sent you back Addy at this time. I already don't do that. Like, you about mm-hmm. to get me tight if you do that. So now I'm calling her, calling her, calling her. This is an hour away from her apartment, bro. Well, the Addy she sent me. Long story short, now I'm like 15 minutes away. I gassed it. I'm like, all right, but I'm here. Mm-hmm. I'm like, no. Matter of fact, she texted me She texted me back before, she got, before I got there. And she was like, oh, uh, uh, whatchamacallit. You dumb. You think bitches move on your time. Da, 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 when I catch you, just, she's just popping mad shit. But she's not telling me that she's not at the, the address that she that I'm on my way to. She's not telling me that, though. Mm-hmm. So now she's just yapping, yapping, yapping. Yeah, yeah da, 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 da. you pussy, this and third. You don't have a car, this and third. You signed a French Montana. Everybody, like, you know all that. Mm-hmm. And then it's just like, t- I'm 15 minutes now. I'm like, okay, I guess. I'm like, all right, but I'm here. I'm outside. Mm-hmm. She ended up, don't text me back. I'm calling her, 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 I'm calling her. I go to her, I go to the, the, the spot now. I go to the spot now, and I just get out the car. I'm like, all right, but I already know she's not coming outside. Like, at this point, I'm already knowing, like, this is not her, this is not where she at. Okay. Like, so I got out the car, I'm like, all right, but I'm going to go live because bitches wanted to do the, the Instagram game while I was sleeping. Like, I can't even take a peaceful nap. And so now <laughs> I'm going to do the, now I'm going to do the Instagram shit because I'm in front of your address. Mm-hmm. I, well, I, as little as, I went so low to, I screenshot the Addy she sent me. I screenshot when I told her, don't send me nobody else Addy, send me her home, her home address. I posted when I, when I said I don't have wheels, all of that. Because like, bro, bro, people was literally telling me, oh, are you telling them you don't have have a car? Bitch, because I do have a car. My shit's in the shop. Like, right. what the fuck? Like, what are you talking about right now? How is that? That's the reality of it. I'm not about to tell bitches, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm in the crib. When my car is downstairs, but I'm just not driving it. Right. Like, bitch, no, my shit's in the shop. If I had my car, I would have been on your block 1, 2 p.m. But right. you get me? But long story short, I just went live, and I was just like, all right, now I'm going to clown her because she was trying to do the Instagram shit, and it's like, you still didn't come outside. So that was that story. So, very, very detailed story. Very detailed. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to chop that up. <laughs> so, would you ever, or do you ever see yourself? No. In, you know what I'm saying? No. Oh. Not going to happen. Yikes. 
Not gonna happen. Yikes. At all. You don't feel like because people like that I look at as opportunists. So okay. even if she did come to me and and with this genuine apology or like yo it wasn't like that or it was never supposed to end, I would still think it's like bitch you just suck in my dick because you want to be lit. So or they could think that you're a fire rapper and they want to. No, no, no. I already know she thinks I'm a fire rapper because that's what we're arguing about because I didn't want to give her a feature for free. But anyways, okay. like I said, I would just look at it as like, it, I wouldn't look at it as a genuine thing because you prolong. Like I said, if like last week when she did that shit with the follow and she didn't talk crazy the first time, like I would have been like, okay, maybe she's just, like she that. just went through her little cloud chasing phase and then like now she's normal. She's not normal. I don't think it's not oh, going to, you feel me? So yeah. Okay, so while we while we at this tea party, you got any other rumors you want to address? Any other rumors? Okay, Kenzo Boyle suck my dick okay. because my name is not Aaliyah. It's very much Kenzo. <laughs> okay, so I was gonna ask you about the name just because I feel like it's a lot of it's a couple B's, it's a couple Kenzo. Because like, because and okay. you said you wanted to drop. Well, you said you was thinking about dropping a B on uh Nodi shit. No, I'm. I think I said I was thinking about dropping the Kenzo. Oh, the Kenzo. Yeah, I think okay, I want to okay. drop the Kenzo. I was thinking about dropping the Kenzo only because this is not, I can't brand this name. Because of the name brand? Yeah. Okay. So I was thinking Kenzie B. Kenzie B. Mm. It's not given. I, I think th- if you had came out like Kenzie B, it might have gave. But people call me that, though. Kenzie? Yeah. I just feel like. I don't know if I hear it the same the way. Like I don't know if I feel it the you same. You never get it's because the Zoe part. Kendall. Yeah, it's the Zoe. Yeah, but all I'm gonna say is, one, my name is not Aaliyah. Okay. I hate that. I don't know why, but I just hate that name. I know. I know like bad Aaliyahs. Mm-hmm. I don't want that on my on my like resume. That's not my name. <laughs> if y'all want it on my name, like I said, just ask me. Not right now. I was literally don't, about to ask you. Don't do it right now because I'm not gonna say it. But like. Just for the sake of, cause y'all think like now my name is Aaliyah. now right. cause everybody think now now cause you want to be funny now that's my name. So, all right, no Aaliyah. no Aaliyah. but yeah, Kenzo. <laughs> I was using Kenzo since Facebook days, right? Yes, I was Aaliyah J. Like I said before, I was Kenzo B. I was Aaliyah J on on Facebook, but I was Kenzo B on Instagram, right? So I was Kenzo B before I started rapping on Instagram. That's the funny thing. Like, first of all, everybody knows the B. Everybody knows what the B stands for and yeah. everybody's name. That's why I never even trip about that. And then, right. two, that was already that was already both of our names mm-hmm. before, like. Before this shit. Yeah, like, yeah. when we came out, it wasn't like I seen I seen that he was out and I'm like, okay, let me, let me make this my name. Because, like, no, my Instagram was already that. I was just like, I didn't care to change it because, first of all, I didn't think he was, like, he had a pussy or anything. And he would be worried about me having the same name as him. And then, two, one thing I do emphasize in my interviews is my name stands for Kenzo B. And, and when people... I mean, when people ask me, like, what the beast name for, I always say, like, yo, it stands for, I, I don't really know. It stands for whatever y'all want, except for Bola. Okay. Like, I do not want that even narrative. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even want us to, like, you feel me? So, yeah. I just expected he was going to be different about it. Okay, I didn't y'all. expect that it would be a problem for real with Kenzo another B grown-ass nigga. Is Kenzo B. Maybe Kenzie B. But Kenzo Maybe B. Kenzie B. Maybe. 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 I don't know, because Lauren's not feeling it. Mm. Mm. I don't know. So let's go to Kenzo B, the person in real life. What? How is the rapper different than you in real life? I feel like I'm if not. Okay. I not. try. I try to be myself when I like rap. Mm-hmm. Not only like in my music, but just like my rapper image. Period. Mm-hmm. Because I'm not per- like I'm not gonna be good with keeping up the facade. A fa- yeah. Yeah. Any facade. Right. Like it's, it's like y'all just gonna eventually. Like I feel like I've been doing like. Even my fans start to see it now, like, yo, Kenzo really just been Kenzo since she first started. Like, since we first seen this girl, she's literally been the same exact way. Some yeah. days she's calm, some days she's ratchet, some days she's bougie, some days she, she's preaching, yeah. some days she's not. Like, I'm just, I've been showed my people that, so that's already something they expect. They're never, like, I'm never just waking up and then they're like, nah, what the fuck? She's right. just doing anything. Like, that's just, it's more of a, that's just Kenzo. Yeah. We all know that's Kenzo. Like, 
That's just her. Everybody know, like, everybody know that I'm out the way or, like, I, I mind my business or I stay in my lane. And But I will disrespect, like, you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I'll get crazy. Like, everybody knows that, so. So, same person, pretty much. Yeah, like. So, I know family is really important to you. And we yeah. know Bando's not here right now. Well, yeah. we here, but, like, he's not here. Yeah. So, how has that affected you? How has that affected me? Of course, like, in a regular way, just, like, not having my brother. And also. Yeah. Even though this is the lifestyle I'm living in, it's still, I feel like, not my dream. It's more of my brother's dream for me. Okay. And that's how I look at it. Like, I look at it like, it's like bittersweet. Okay. I'm out here doing what my brother wants to be doing, for real. Right. And I, like, feel like that makes me want to do it a little bit more. Because I don't even, like, some days I'm feeling like, bro, this is not my lane. Like, this is, I don't care for this. Then I just think, like, bro, but if my brother was home, this is something, like, he'll, he'll he probably be doing. Do. Like, he can't mm-hmm. do it in his situation. So, I was like, fuck it. I'm going to just yeah. shake it up. Okay. So, one thing I want to ask you. Joe 101 with Kenzo B. Define cool for me. Cool? Cool. Like, in a female? Friends? I've heard it used as, like, a, a way to reference somebody. I've heard it used as an action. Like, we going cool. Like. Oh, like K U U, okay. Is that how you spell it? No, like cool, cool. Oh, the, the oh, define cool. Yeah, I, was, I thought you were saying like cool, like C-O-O-L. oh no, not cool. like you cool. No, yeah, no, 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 no. Define cool. cool. Okay, cool, cool to me and my definition is like my dogs. Okay, but it depends how you how you use it. Like 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 you said, because I could be like yo, learn go crazy cool, and it's like right. yo go crazy my heart, but. If I be like, yo, nah, you going cool. Like, that means you going crazy. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Okay, so it's both. Like, yeah, like, it's both. Yeah. Mm, okay, got it. Now, Valentine's Day is tomorrow. You got plans? I hope so. You hope? I hope so. I think it's going to be like, I think it's a surprise. <laughs> it's a surprise. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know anything about no plans tomorrow. I'm, I'm hoping it's a surprise. Okay, so is this from your man? Are you single? I don't have a man. You're single. I'm Tends very much single. Single. So what Karisha said? No, I don't think Karisha said that. I think I think this is what um P Diddy said. We he said he's single where he's dating. I think that's what I'm doing. No, I'm single, dating. but I'm willing to date. You outside? Yeah. Okay. So, do you want to give us a video on your... said the niggas is on my body. No, I love that video. Because you know the niggas that she must be talking about? Like, she's not talking no, about no, regular niggas. No, like, not niggas. the regular... Like, yeah, she's, like, she's talking about, like... Yeah, yeah the yeah. niggas is on her They're body. Yeah. Like, yeah, love that for her. <laughs> so, you want to tell the people what happened with the last situation? You want to give us that tea? Or you want to you wanna hold that tea? Um, I feel like it's not tea, it's piss. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> That's tough. But more or less, um, nah, I don't care to speak on that situation. It was just like, it was just like a very weird situation. But it's like, honestly, though, I can't even explain it for real. Like, it's something that wasn't weird to, until it was weird. Like, mm-hmm. it was like a, what the fuck? Take it was good thing. until it wasn't. Yeah, like, it was yeah. like a, huh? Take, that's like, how, like, what? Like, like, how, like, what? Like, how, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Only y'all niggas is punch, for real. <laughs> But, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Okay, got it. Now, it's February, top of the year. Last year, we had our awards, Talking to Town Awards, and I know she want to know what awards Oh, y'all she are so fake. So y'all trick me. <laughs> no, okay, I'll tell you uh, off camera why I didn't do it in the beginning. So, I definitely that's forgot. That's exactly what happened. I'm not going to lie. I forgot I was even... I forgot, I forgot I was even, like, nominated real quick. <laughs> you was nominated for a good amount of stuff. For, like, three things, right? Can, right. Y'all, can y'all refresh my memory? Because I know I was nominated for Rookie of the Year. Mm-hmm. I was nominated for Most Lyrical. Okay, and Best, and ben female. Best female Artist. Right. Which one you think you won? Which one I think I won? Mm-hmm. Or which one I hope I won Rookie Both. of the Year? You hope you won Rookie of the Year. Okay, and which one you think you won? I think I won. won I wouldn't. I don't know. I would have to, like, now that, because the best female Joe, Joe Rapper thing was the one that I, I didn't remember. So now that I remember it, I probably won, won that one. But I hope I won the Rookie of the Year one. Because Ben, I won the Rookie of the Year one last year. So oh, I feel like that's. Adorbs. Yeah, that's cute. That would be adorbs. That would be fire. What you want to, where's that? 
I wish I won, won all three, though. You wish you won all three? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Kenzo oh, B, most tough. lyrical. I ain't gonna lie, that's tough. <laughs> that's tough. We love that. I really wish I won Rookie of the Year, but let me just say, I'm very much not a rookie, so I would have been confused, too. <laughs> This is for the lyrics. This is for the punchlines that Yo, we was talking I about. Lie. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I looked at that list. Okay. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wouldn't have expected this. Out of that list, you didn't think you was gonna get it. No, I looked at the list and I was like, no, it's a possibility. Mm -hmm. But like when I looked at the other list, I was like, nah. I, I definitely like. I was more confident about it. Wish. I know that's right. Woo, we love that. Go Kenzo B. Most liberal yes, period. I better first of all, this is this is stamped by Tokyo the Town. I don't want to Talk your hear, shit now. Go ahead. I don't want to hear. Yeah, I don't want to hear. First of all, somebody save this for my next song. I don't want to hear none of y'all bitches say nothing about a lyric. Right. Thank you. Right. <laughs> I was trying to give you background. Right, the fans voted for you. You got to thank them. Oh, my gosh, my heart. I feel like I'm in the stage of the Grammys right now. <laughs> Mind you, I don't get excited of stuff like this, but, like, um, what can I say? Thank you, guys. <laughs> Look how awkward she got. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for voting for me. And, I mean, like, I was really supposed to win all three, but, like, I'm going to accept this. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this. But now I got to see who won in the categories I was in. What's a whole off-camera? Yeah, it's like, I'm not going to tell them. Okay, that's explainable? That I, I, yeah, I, best females, Ice Spice. I respect that. And what was the rookie of the year? I respect that as well. Okay. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied. I respect this. Period. We love that. Yeah. So what is next for Kenzo B? What's coming in the future? Oh, more tea. More tea. Okay, put me on. One, one, one question. What what gets to you with um nice content and shit? Nice content and shit. Oh, hey, you acting blind. I got blind. You was acting blind as hell on that live. No, I really wasn't seeing his comments. I don't want oh. you to think that. I really like wasn't because he don't follow me. Be Okay. Because I told you, I told you. Y'all, we asked her, what was T with Nas and Curly going back and forth under her live in the comments? You know, I didn't see none of their, I didn't see any of their comments. I didn't see none of, none of Curly comments. I didn't see none of Nas I really comments. thought you was just acting real No, wild. I really wasn't acting. No, matter of fact, I seen, I think, one of Nas' comments, and I was just acting like I didn't see it. But mm -hmm. I think that was, that's an interview for them because I didn't know at the moment, but they have personal that wasn't their first exchange. Okay. But I found that out after. <laughs> so, yeah. That was more of a two lame niggas doing lame shit. But Ooh. I don't know. I didn't, re I wasn't, I didn't see their comments for real. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. I really thought you was just acting really well. The, the fans were telling me, like, this person said this and this person mm -hmm. said that. And it was like, it was just turning me off. It was like, bro, y'all dead trying to, like, it gave, like, I don't even want to say what it gave, but it just gave that, and I didn't like it. Okay. So, yeah. Period. Most lyrical. Most and not, lyrical. Not most lyrical female artist. Not most lyrical right. girl in the Bronx. Right. Most lyrical. Period. So, what's coming next for Kenzo B? But basically, I'm about to start dropping music soon. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to drop consistently before I drop. Like, I'm going to drop for, like, a couple weeks consistently before I drop my album. But I am more focused on was gonna be on my album. So when do you have a a title for the album? I don't. And do you have a time for the album? Like when you I, shooting for it to come out? I don't. I don't want to give them time because then they expect. And like I'm somebody who's like I can say I want to do something. I'm not good with time. Period. Okay. As y'all can see. Yeah. But you are the latest guest that we've had on Talk of the Town. Tell them how late I was. She was supposed to come at eight. I keep looking at this one. She was supposed to come at eight o'clock. She got here at. We started this shit at eleven forty. Yeah. So uh, I don't want to tell y'all about BPT. I don't want to tell y'all. Um, <laughs> I don't want to tell y'all like a, a certain time and then mm -hmm. I don't do it by then because like I'm indecisive. So I probably just be like, no, I want to do more more songs or like I want to change this song or I want to add this. So 
I don't know. I don't want to do that. But, but the album is definitely this coming. year. This year, okay. I can promise y'all, y'all gonna get an album this year. All right. And then definitely like, as far as my rollout is, I feel like, like I said, even still the, with the music that y'all haven't heard, I feel like I haven't made a bad verse. Okay. So, but like the rollout is more of like my songs that I'm just like, okay, here, 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 here. My album is really like my babies. It's giving me appetizer and full meal. Yeah. Okay. But like, you know how the appetizer be busting though? Like when you want right. another thing of that bread. Right. Like when you want another order of that mm. that bread that they be bringing. It's like giving that. a red lobster biscuits, OD. No, for real, for real. So like, it's like, it's still good. Okay. But the meal part is like, it's going to go gonna blow. The shrimp scampi is going to go dumb. Definitely. For Period. sure. So, yeah. Uh, all right, y'all. That's Kenzo B. You got any last words before we get out of here? Tell them where they can find you. Um, I'm a blue check now, so I don't even got to do that. Just if y'all searching Kenzo B, just. You know it's her. Like, y'all, y'all going to find me. There's no way y'all could get played. Y'all got the fake page. Like, no. Now, I'm not going to lie. The underscores in the beginning of the name be throwing me off sometimes. No, but even still, it's to the point, if you if you put. Now, if you put, I just have two underscores, underscore, underscore, Kenzo B. Okay. I'm definitely going to be the only one, like, up there with a blue check. Period. So. That's that on that. But other than that, what else do I have to say? Thank y'all again for my award. So, what was y'all, did y'all vote for me on this? Like, was oh, y'all, y'all was rooting for me on this? No, how she going to ask us that on camera? No, I'm That's asking. the crazier part. No, but I'm asking. All right, y'all, we got Tea. Kenzo B in the building. <laughs> we are out.